I went to a gathering of people hosted by two of my friends to create a vision board for the year 2024. When we got there, there was two long tables covered in cutouts from magazines. She gave us five minutes without thinking too much, just pick different pieces off of the table, whatever spoke to us, whatever called for us. We didn't have to understand why. And then we were to go back to our spot, start laying down those pieces on our, on our board without thinking too much, just doing it all very intuitively, then to start gluing it. After all the gluing and everyone was finished, we sat in a circle and we and each of us shared our board. I was coming to the activity on a day that I was feeling very low, um, where I had a little traumatic moment. I was coming off of a really high, high place. And I was really inspired and felt really good. And then boom, I was just, had the wind knocked out of me. I don't know, I just, it, I was still carrying that in my body when I made this vision board. So I shared my vision board and everything explained was the struggles, the doubts, the doubts. And this morning, I woke up and I came in here into my little art studio and there was the vision board on a chair that I left there the night before and I sat down with my cup of coffee and looked at this vision board and saw something I, that I didn't see the night before. It just looks like a chaos to me. I have these hands of God at the top supporting me and within there I have my all my dreams and I'm man trying to manifest my passions and my artwork and trying to find a way to make money out of doing what I love and this whole YouTube venture. It's so difficult, you know, wanting to figure that out and, and wanting to let go of the attachments I have to this vision um, of earning an income through doing my creative work and just do the work without constantly being disappointed. She asked each of us, when you look at that board, what picture do you want to be in right now? Where do you see yourself right now? I knew, and I knew when I saw the picture on the table, it was a picture of birch trees in the winter. That is what I see when I look out in this room I'm in the forest and I have all these windows on one wall and it looks out into the forest. This is the place when I'm working on my art or making videos, I feel I don't have all those thoughts. I feel content. And the second question was, what is an action word that comes to you when you are looking at your vision board? And the word that came to me, the action word was release. For me, that's like release attachment to the outcome. God will figure that out. I don't have to figure that out. I can do the work. I can work towards something, but I don't. I have to let go of that attachment of when things don't go as planned. I get so devastated. Okay, so this morning I'm drinking my coffee and it just looks like craziness. This vision board looks like complete, like what is going on? My brain is, and it's exactly how I felt yesterday. This confusion, this, all this pressure. When I looked at the vision board this morning, all I saw was those little trees in the corner and it was like a, a window. And I realized that oh, this is, this craziness, this messiness, uh, all this activity is inside my mind. And the answer, the, the release lies through that window. And I even have two women looking out that window. Their back is turned to all of that noise and they're looking out the window. This morning, this vision board is a reminder to me to keep my focus out the window, to keep my focus on the 
place that feels good in my studio, being in flow, working on my art, and not turning the other direction up into my worrying brain. Keep focused on that release. And then that plays also leads to the Caribbean. <laughs> Caribbean waters. I was gifted a trip to Jamaica and the feelings I got when I was in Jamaica were so profound. It's a trip I never would have taken. I couldn't have afforded. Generous, generous, wonderful family member gifted this trip to my family and to all of his family. He gathered us all there. We had a beautiful time. We had a really beautiful time. Oh, I'm just so blessed that my kids were able to do that trip that I couldn't have afforded to send them on. So it was really wonderful. But to me, it was really sort of, I don't know, it was, there's something about being in warm climates. I've lived in California for two years. I've traveled um, for four months in Australia and New Zealand. And there's something about the feeling of those, those places and the people that were born in sunny places. There's just this energy of joy, of course. Not everyone's joyful all the time, but it's just this collective feeling that I had in all of those warm places that is so wonderful that I don't, I've never had in Canada. Although I love Canada and I'm so blessed for where I live. But anyway, so when I come, when we came back from Jamaica, um, I didn't understand it at the time, but I, I think I was depressed for a while. I started eating poorly, eating a lot of sugar, eat, drinking wine, um, which I don't do. I'd given up for eight months. I didn't even eat carbs for eight months, and I was feeling really, really great. And when I got back, I just sort of went on this downward, I don't know, this heaviness came over me. And I was kind of stuck in that for a few months. And so getting back to the vision board, look, I placed Jamaica, or the Caribbean waters, these beautiful blue waters, right above that window, that window out of the crazy hecticness of my mind, of expectations, of desire. And I put that just beyond the window, and it just, I'm looking at this board today and it's serving me as a reminder if I keep my mind turned away from all of the worry and just keep showing up in my studio, it'll be magical. It'll work out. It'll work out. Eventually I felt better this morning through looking at my vision board and just sitting in silence, feeling the feelings I was feeling, um, crying, like releasing. And taking that time, taking that time is so important. Take the time without any distraction and just feel how you're feeling and you let that stuff, go. let it go and it's okay. You can't keep it in there. You have to let it out. Just so thankful to my friend who hosted this event and for my wonderful family member who sent us to Jamaica and I love all this energy of these people who are putting their love out into the world for us to help each other because all of us have these thoughts. Highly suggest whatever place you are in your life to do this activity of the vision board for your year or your your month or your just how you're feeling right now and just sit with it and i'm looking forward to seeing what i will see as the as the year goes on in this vision board maybe i'll come back and revisit it um <laughs> if anyone's interested 
we'll see. Um, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter. YouTube, <laughs> just keep my eyes focused, looking out that beautiful window into those beautiful trees. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm so glad that we had this moment to share together. I'll see you later.